Minecraft has a mob that's been hidden for years. It doesn't naturally spawn at all. You can't get it from the creative menu, and it's been in the game since 1.12 and is still being updated to this day. And yet, Mojang still hasn't added them to the game. Meet the Illusioner. Like I said earlier, this guy isn't in the creative menu, with the only way of getting him is through a very specific command. So who is he, and what does he do? The Illusioner is another mob in the Illager family, and as you know, these guys are hostile to villagers and to players, and the Illusioner is no exception from this rule. And I must say, despite the Illusioner literally being hidden behind a command, he is probably right next to the Ender Dragon in how in-depth his attacks are. Like, I'm serious, look. So an Illusioner has a lot of attacks. Its main attack is basically just to shoot a bow at the player, just like a skeleton. However, before that, an Illusioner usually starts off a fight by being a loser and casting blindness on the player. And what happens after that is even more ridiculous because out of nowhere, it summons four duplicates of itself. But these aren't actually real. They can't hurt you because the real Illusioner, while this is happening, will be invisible and will be shooting you with their bow like an annoying little pl And when you eventually find and attack the invisible Illusioner, they will all return to the real Illusioner and then spread out again. Repeat this until you finally defeat the Illusioner. The Illusioner can also participate in raids if they're close enough and join pillager patrols and even pick up the pillager banners. So as shown before, the Illusioner is a perfectly functional mob that is basically completed, which leaves all of us asking, why isn't this mob in the game? In order to answer that question, we need to go back to when the Illusioner was first added into the game. The Illusioner itself was added back in 2017 in a 1.12 snapshot named- Yeah, I'm not saying that. This is an interesting timing because the update before the snapshot, 1.11, had actually added Woodland Mansions and the first ever Illagers, the Vindicators and the Vokers. So what probably happened is that the Illusioner was meant to be added in the Woodland Mansions as part of 1.11, but due to how complicated the Illusioner was, it just couldn't make it in time for 1.11. So they pushed it back to 1.12, most likely adding it to Woodland Mansions as part of the 1.12 update. Or at least, that was supposed to happen, because we all know that the 1.12 update eventually released on June 7, 2017, without the Illusioner being added. And as far as I know, there was no reason for the Illusioner not being added in the update. Maybe they just needed more time to polish it and was waiting for the next update. 1.13 came and went with only minor technical changes being made to the Illusioner, making yet another update the Illusioner had missed. Perhaps the next update would be more fortunate for the Illusioner. And it seemed like it would be, with the announcement of the 1.14 Village and Pillage update, which presented a great opportunity for the Illusioner to be finally added into the game. I mean, an entire update about Villagers and Illagers? Just perfect for the Illusioner. And the evidence was already there, with the Illusioner already being updated in the snapshots with its eyes being changed to green to better fit in with the other Illagers. And in Minecon Live, the Illusioner was even name dropped as a potential candidate for the raids. So whether it be part of the pillagers, or being a part of the raids, whatever role it would play in the future, it seemed that the illusioner's future was bright. The village and pillage update had been released, and the illusioner was still nowhere to be found. And with 1.15 releasing shortly, it seemed that the illusioner had once again been omitted, and no talk of it or updates to speak of. The Illusioner after 1.14 had only gotten three changes, two in 1.18 where they no longer attack baby villagers and where its texture got changed removing some misplaced pixels, and the Illusioner has also been updated as recently as 1.19 with a very minor update to it, changing its model to allow some more pixels on its robe to render. Very exciting. So with the Illusioner being updated as recently as 1.19, it's not like Mojang have just forgotten about the Illusioner or have decided to remove them from the game. No. Like I mentioned earlier, they've just been updating him semi-consistently, even fixing minor little texture errors. So again, with all these updates, why isn't the Illusioner in the game? Well, the Illusioner isn't actually the only hidden mob. It's not even the most famous. Meet the Giant. This guy is basically just a really, really big zombie, and he's been in the game much longer than the Illusioner has, being added back all the way in Minecraft InDev, a version of Minecraft that might be older than some people watching this video right now. 
Oh god. I could go further into the history of the giant, but that's not the point of this video. Basically, the giant is also in a similar position to the illusioner, being only spawned in by a command. However, unlike the illusioner, the reason why this big boy isn't in the game is obvious. It's extremely unfinished and would require a lot of work to get the giant working properly. This is all while the illusioner is thoroughly fleshed out with different attacks, sound effects, and textures. The illusioner is clearly ready to be put in the game. So for the third time, we ask the question, why hasn't the illusioner been added? And to answer that question, I don't know. I couldn't find a reason. The mob is done. There's almost no work to be done on it. He's just sitting there waiting to be added. So there might not be an official reason. However, we can still try to answer the question by speculating as to why it hasn't been added. So my main theory at the moment is that Mojang can't find an appropriate place to put the Illusioner. Perhaps the Illusioner doesn't fit in of the raids. Maybe Mojang found in its playtest that it conflicts with another mob like the Evoker and its Vexes. Or it's just too difficult to fight with all these other mobs and then too easy to fight alone. I know it's all pure speculation, but I genuinely believe this theory is likely correct. Mojang originally wanted to add them in 1.11, but decided to delay the illusion over 1.12. However, by then, they had different priorities, and they likely tried again in 1.14, but couldn't find a place for them there, and then just stopped trying to add them all together. But I think that eventually, Mojang will find a place for the Illusioner. You don't just throw away a perfectly functional and complete mob like the Illusioner. Maybe Mojang could do something like a witch's hut, but like an Illusioner's hut. Or they can make him like a mini boss, like on top of a pillager tower or something. I mean, I personally think pillager towers are too easy. Who knows? That's up for Mojang to decide, not me. However, until Mojang eventually adds him to the game, he will, for now, at least remain in their current state, forgotten and relegated to be only spawned in with a command. Also, the Illusioner is apparently a mini boss in Minecraft Dungeons. I wouldn't know. I don't play the game, but I'm sure our Minecraft Dungeons players can tell us in the comments. Okay, bye.